This presentation is about GCSE Health and Diseases. Our key questions today are, what is health? What is the difference between communicable and non-communicable diseases? And why can getting one disease increase the chance of getting another? The World Health Organization, or the WHO, are an organization that are responsible for coordinating their efforts to improve health across the world. They give advice to people like governments on vaccinations, diets, diseases, travel tips, and more. According to the WHO, health is comprised of three types of well-being. Physical well-being is whether you are free from disease, have enough food to eat, have enough sleep, do enough activity, or whether you actually do drugs or not. Social well-being is affected by other people around you and the surroundings, the places where you live, for example. Your mental well-being is affected by how you see yourself or how you feel about yourself, your self-image. The World Health Organization states that if these three things are in balance, then you are deemed to have good health. Now we're going to talk about correlation and causation. A correlation means there's a link between factors. So if one factor changes, there's a probability that another factor will change. That means those two factors are linked together. A causation means that if one factor changes, then it would directly affect the second factor. It's deemed to be the cause of the change in the second factor. Let's look at an example. Take a moment to look at what the graph is trying to show. The graph shows that if your annual income goes up, then the probability of you living a long life increases. This type of relationship is called a correlation. It's not a guarantee. Just because you have lots of money each year doesn't mean that you are going to live a longer life. Neither does if you have a lower amount of money per year that you're going to have a shorter life. This is not a causation relationship. It is simply a link, a probability, which is what we, why we call it a correlation. The causation of shorter lifespans would be things like access to healthcare, access to clean water, enough food, or living in an area where there is a lower crime rate, where it's less likely that you might be killed. Let's talk about diseases. Diseases are problems in the structure or the processes of the body, but it's not due to injury. These can be caused by microorganisms that affect us. We call them pathogens. These diseases that are caused by pathogens, for example, influenza virus, are said to be communicable. That means that they can pass on from one person to another. Other diseases are non-communicable. So these diseases are not passed on from one person to another. For example, genetic diseases, diseases that you are born with, like cystic fibrosis, is non-communicable. You can't pass it from one person to another. Diseases caused by lifestyle, such as cirrhosis of the liver, from drinking too much alcohol, is also non-communicable. Periodontal disease is bleeding from the gums. That's from not brushing your teeth properly. And diet deficiency diseases, where you don't eat enough of certain nutrients, are also non-communicable diseases. So what does this have to do with correlation? Well, diseases can also have correlation to other diseases. Here are some examples. In the case of periodontal disease, your gums bleed, and the bleeding areas can get infected by bacteria from your mouth, which can cause heart disease. We say there's a co correlation between periodontal disease and heart disease. 
Periodontal disease, gums bleeding, doesn't cause heart disease, but it increases the probability of it. So there's a link or a correlation. Some diseases damage natural barriers like skin that protect you from pathogens. So this is also a correlation. Some diseases stop an organ system from working, therefore make other diseases more likely to occur. Another example is HIV. HIV, a viral infection, leads to a compromised immune system, so you're more likely to get other communicable diseases. So HIV stops you from defending yourself against pathogen invasions or infections. So things like colds or flu can actually cause damage. So to summarize, the WHO, the World Health Organization, defines health as a product of physical, social, and mental well-being. Just because two factors are linked doesn't mean that one factor causes another. It could just be a correlation. And there is a difference between diseases that are communicable and those that are non-communicable. Communicable diseases are caused by pathogens. Non-communicable diseases can be caused by either genetics or changes in your lifestyle.